Hello everyone. I'm back with another Blender tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to create this cute animation in Blender. I have turned on my screencast keys and you can have see the keys I use at the bottom left of the screen, so let's dive into the video. To start delete everything from the scene, by pressing A, X and then enter, then click on Shfit plus A, select mesh and then select circle. Set the vertices to 16 and the fill type to triangular fan. Now hit R, click X, and type 90. This will rotate the circle by 90 degrees in X axis. Go to front view and then tab into edit mode. Select the bottom half and delete the faces. Go to edge select mode and select the central edges. Click E and extrude in Z direction. Click Ctrl R and add in some loop cut. Now go to the modifiers tab and add in a solidify modifier. Set the thickness to about 0.5. Apple the modifier. Now add a subdivision surface modifier. Set the values to 3 in render and viewport. Now tab into edit mode and press Ctrl plus R and slide in some loop cuts to maintain the shape. Do this for the entire structure. Now tab out buff edit mode and move it on Z axis by pressing G and then Z. Now let's create the pop stick. Add a circle. Rotate it on X axis by 90 degree. Press S and scale it down. Press G and then Z and move it along Z axis. Position halfway on the main chocolate body. Now tab into edit mode and press G and Z and move to along Z axis. Position it in the center of the body by going to different views. Now add a solidify modifier. A value around 0.02 should do well. Now let's make the eyes. Add in a UV sphere and press S to scale it down. Press G and position it. Add in a mirror modifier and select the main body as the object to mirror it. Position and scale the eyes. Enable shade smooth. Add in a subdivision surface modifier as well. Now let's make a mouth. Go to edit mode with the main body selected. Apply the subdivision surface before going to edit mode. Select the faces where the mouth should be. Now press E to extrude and bring it a little inward. Press S and scale it inward. Do this and make a nice shape of the mouth. Click F to fill the remaining area. With the face select mode select the filled in face and then click on Ctrl and plus sign on keyboard to increase the selection. Now select the smooth icon on the toolbar and drag that yellow handle to smooth the areas. Add in a subdivision surface and enable shade smooth as well. Now let's animate our character. 
Select the eyes and go to the shape keys. Click on the plus sign twice to make a key. Now tab into edit mode. Press S and then shift plus X. And scale it in the Y and Z direction. Now tab out of edit mode. Move the value of key 1 from 0 to 1 and you can see that blink being generated. Now expand the timeline. Go to frame 8 and add a keyframe by hovering over the value of the shape key at 0 and pressing I. Go to frame 10 change the value from 0 to 1 and press I to insert a keyframe. Do this for frame 12 this time keeping the value at 0. Copy the keyframes and paste at areas where you need blinks. Now add in an icosphere. Set the sun divisions to 1. Select the main character body and tab into edit mode. Select some vertices to add the chocolate chips. Now go to the vertex group and click on the plus icon. Click on a sign. Now go to particle settings. And add a new particle. Set this as hair. Go to vertex groups and set the density as group. Go to render and set render as to object. Select the eyedropper to set it as the sampling object. Change the number to a smaller value like 70 or 75. Change the scale to around 0.03 and the randomness value to 0.5. Now let's animate the melting effect. For this select the main object body and tab into edit mode. Go to shape keys and add in a new shape key. Go to vertex select mode and select one vertex. Now enable proportional editing and set this to random. Press G and move some areas along Z axis downwards. Now tab out of edit mode. Move the icosphere out of the way. Go to frame 1 and add a keyframe for the shape key with a value of 0. Go to frame 80 which is out end frame and set a keyframe with value 1 in the shape keys. Now select the eyes and then shift select the main body. Press Ctrl P and select parent to object keep transform. Now hold shift and select the stick and press Ctrl plus P. Select set parent to object keep transform. Now go to frame 1. Press I and select rotation to insert a rotation keyframe. 
Now go to frame 15 and press R and Z and 30 to rotate the character by 30 degrees on Z axis. Insert a rotation keyframe here. Now go to frame 30 and rotate the character by negative 30 degree. Insert a keyframe. Go to frame 45 and rotate the character by minus 30 here as well. Insert a keyframe. Now copy the keyframes and paste them at frame 60. Now let's add in our materials. Select the eyes and go to materials tab and add in a black material. Decrease the roughness to about 0.2 or 0.3 to get a soft reflection. Select the character body and add a medium brownish color like chocolate. Also increase the roughness to about 0.6. Select the stick and give it a light brownish color. Select the Ikoshpura and add it a dark color. Select the main character and tab into edit mode. Press select the filled in area of the mouth and press Ctrl and hold plus to expand the selection. After selecting the portion of mouth go to materials tab and add in a material. I'm going to make a reddish material. Click on a sign. Now add in a plane. Tab into edit mode and press E and Z to extrude the back end of the plane to get a 90 degree angle. Now add a subdivision surface modifier with a value of 3 on both render and viewport. Position the plane and scale it if needed. Add in a camera by pressing Shift plus A and selecting camera. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus 0 on the numpad to lock camera to view. Adjust the focal length of the camera and position it in place. Add in some area lights and set the power to 400 and the radius to 5 meters. Go to Render tab and enable Ambient Occlusion, Bloom, and Motion Blur if needed. Set the shadows to Soft Shadows. Go to Film and check Transparent. Go to Color Management and set it to Medium Contrast or Medium High Contrast. Go to Output Settings and choose a folder. You can change the resolution to 1920 by 1920 to get a square aspect ration if needed. Now all that is left is to render. So do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Thank you.